time you're ready, Scott. Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm here to talk about the nature of sloths. I'm going to talk about today the, the habitat and how it affects culture. So to start off, let's start with the sloths began. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Day one, there, God separated the light from the dark. Day two, he separated the waters from the air. Day three, he pulled the land from the ocean and populated it with vegetation. Day four, he placed the sun, the moon, and the stars to count the time and count the days so that we know when we are. Day five, he put all the life in the ocean and he put the birds in the air. Day six, you know what happened. He created Adam and Eve. Any picture you look up for that is kind of appropriate, so I just thought that would be best. <laughs> anyway, and also on that day, he created the animals and the livestock, and he created the sloth. This is the main guy we're going to be talking about. So he, this sloth is mainly found in South America, and they live primarily in forested jungles and stuff like that, in rainforests, and what they eat is mostly the leaves. They hardly ever leave the trees, and so that's one unique thing about the sloths. A couple of other interesting facts. Most people know them for being slow and for the moss that grows on them. Because they move so slow and they digest so slowly that they just grow moss and algae and stuff so they camouflage into the trees. So they're actually fairly safe. Um, there's two types of sloths. There's the two-toed sloth and the three-toed sloth. The two-toed sloth, which is the one on the left right over here, you might get kind of confused because there's three toes, but that's his back paw or whatever you call those. Um, and they count for the claws on the front. The three-toed sloth is actually going kind of endangered due to habitat loss and the wild. Mm -hmm. So this is this is kind of what's happening. Could you play the video? Kind of pick it up and move it. Oh, what are you? I can't run away. I believe I can touch the sky. I believe I can touch the sky. So yes, this is mainly where people interact with sloths. You see, you see a sloth, you kind of imagine it's slow, and you see things that you wouldn't necessarily see in regular society. So what we're going to talk about is disinformation. It's the act of spreading something, especially information, widely. So we see sloths come into play in our culture, which is what we're also going to talk about. And they, they bring out unique facts about us. Uh, in memes and digital culture, Limar Shoffman asks, how does bizarre culture spread? And it's actually very simple, because what happens is you see something that's cute or creepy, like a lot of slots right here, or something that's funny, or something that reminds us of our past, or reminds us of something else in us. So you kind of get a reflection of, of everyday life, but you associate yourself with something that is lesser, and you associate yourself with something that isn't necessarily desirable, but you still see yourself in it. So it's actually bringing culture together, bringing people together, and celebrating our faults, celebrating um, the things that detract from us to make us better, to know that everyone is actually okay, everyone's going to move forward. 